Hey, uh, Mike McGordy here from Mike'sBackyardNursery.com. Um, one of our members asked me about this. Uh, you know, when you're potting up plants, getting them from the potting bench. By the way, that's our three-station potting bench behind us there. Um, so we pot them there, but but then I made this wagon so that we could. What's this thing hold? Like 72 mm -hmm. or 72? 72. Or yeah, I think 72 plants are going to fit on this thing. We pull it behind a four-wheeler or a lawnmower or whatever we have. But this thing was actually, this is a, a piece of three-quarter inch plywood. I put some two-by-fours around at the top of it to hold the plants in place. Um, there's a couple of screws under here, and then I got angle brackets to kind of secure that. But the most, the, the, the most impressive part is I got this wagon. This is just a used garden wagon, and I'll flip it up. Well, sort of. So I bought this thing. My neighbor was moving and he's like, hey, do you want this? It was, you know, the, the little dump wagon. So it actually dumped. I put a bolt in here so that it couldn't dump anymore. And then I just bolted this piece of plywood on top of it, extending uh, the, the amount of area so that, because having a deep trailer doesn't help when you're moving things that you just potted up. But the beauty of this is, is this wagon come with a halfway a good quality tire and wheel compared to some of the junk that you can buy at these discount, you know, like farm supply stores. I've not had the best of luck in the world uh, with tires and wheels from that, those places. So I put the deck on there and it's pretty well balanced from one end to the other. So when we load it with plants, so even if it's completely loaded with plants, it'll set like this and not clip over because the majority of the weight is going to be up here but it's still light enough that even though the plants it's very easy to pick up the only thing that i had to do because the because i made this this the, the actual deck that much longer i had to extend the tongue so i got a couple pieces of angle iron i welded them together i think this was the original uh clip for the for the hitch, so I just move that up here. So these angle iron, these I put these two pieces of angle iron, weld them together, and then I put two bolts through here, one here and then one down there. So that that angle iron, I don't even remember, but actually I think it goes all the way back. But anyway, I made this thing several years ago. We use it almost every single day, and it's worked out perfect for. Very easy to move around. Anyway, that's my plant moving wagon. That's something that somebody asked me about um, and they were curious about how I made it. But the beauty of it is, is I found an old trailer on sale for 20 bucks at a yard sale. Been using it ever since. I've got another one out back that's even more heavy duty than that. I picked it up down the road for 40 bucks. I just haven't done anything with it yet. We haven't needed it. So anyway, Mike McGroy from Mike'sBackyardNursery.com. I'll put a link down to the bottom of this video. Um, I don't answer questions on YouTube because I simply don't have the time, but I do answer all, I answer questions every single day at Mike'sBackyardNursery.com, and then of course I spend a great deal of time in our members area answering questions there. So anyway, thanks a lot.